This is me. I'm here to talk about the blood transfusion process and its relation with blood types. But at the beginning, I'll tell you the story of a blood transfusion history. From a long time, blood transfusion was a vital way to help save lives. The world's first experiment with blood transfusion occurred in the mid of 1660s, which was first carried out between dogs. In 1795, an American physician called Philip Singh performed the first successful human blood transfusion. For that, we should know the relation between this process and the different blood types. And now, let's talk about the blood transfusion rule, which states that patients should not be given antigens that their own blood does not have. This is because the recipient's immune system may recognize a new antigen as foreign and develop antibodies against them, which will cause a serious immune response reaction, and that can be fatal. Since I work in this domain, I have been asked many questions from my students about this process of blood transfusion. Now, I'll answer some of these questions that will teach you everything about this process. The first one, why in blood transfusion we cannot give the recipient any blood type? The answer, as we know that the RBCs in individual of each blood type have antigens on their cell membrane, which determine the blood type of the individual. We have three antigens, A, B, and RH. If the recipient encounters a different red blood cell antigen in the circulation, it treats that antigen as foreign or non-cell. Not only that, it will mount an immune response by building antibodies, A, antibody, B antibody and Rh antibody. The second question, what happens when a wrong or incompatible blood type is transfused to the recipient? That will induce the activation of complement cascade, the lysis of donor RBCs means hemolysis and agglutination of donor RBCs. Not only that, the immune response can result in blocking of blood vessels, circulatory shock, kidney failure, and maybe death. The third question, what type of blood can be given to other blood types? Before answering, don't forget the rule. The donor's RBCs will appear foreign if they contain antigens that are not found on the recipient's own RBCs. I'll give you an example. Recipient of blood type B cannot receive a blood from donors having blood type A or AB. This is because these donors have A antigen on their RBCs, which is absent on recipient blood type. If transfused by error happened, the recipient immune system will mount immune response as I explained before. We will think about it together using ABO blood system by drawing a table. The top row represent the blood type of the donor, the left column represent the recipient blood type. Starting from the top, recipient of a blood group A can receive from A and O only, but cannot receive from blood type B and ABE because B antigen is not found in the blood type. By moving to blood type B, it can receive from B and O only, but not from A or AB because of the absence of A antigen. If we move to AB, AB contains both antigens. That means it will receive from all blood types. But if we think about O blood type, neither A nor B antigen is a present on its RBC, so it will receive only from O, not from A, or B, or even AB. By talking about the other blood system, which is RH, RH negative can donate to RH positive, but RH positive cannot donate to RH negative for the same reason, which is building antibodies. So now we understand that the RH positive blood type can receive from both blood types, positive and negative, but for RH negative, can receive only from RH negative. 
In conclusion, all blood types can donate to their same blood type. All blood type can donate blood to all other blood types. AB can receive blood from all blood types, taking into consideration RH negative and RH positive. So O negative is the universal donor, AB positive is the universal recipient. Finally, all information has been summarized in this red blood cell compatibility table for all eight blood groups. Thanks for watching.